right, welcome to another Deal Structure Sunday. It's Chris Pree with Smart Real Estate Coach. You know, um, on many shows recently, uh, podcast, radio, people rightfully host, ask me, hey, Chris, um, what about people that want to stay in the deal? Like, it sounds like all your deals cash out in three or four years. Okay, very good question. And when it started coming up to me, I, I thought, man, I haven't been clear on how we're doing a lot of these. So it's super important. I wrote down some notes here. There's a, there's a bit of a um, evolution in your, in your uh, portfolio, okay? When I started, for example, I'm always gonna talk from example. I started with AOs, they were easy. I would, in hindsight, start with sandwich, but it's okay, AO is sandwich, because you're not taking title, you're not paying any closing costs, you're, not, you're taking very little risk. I don't wanna ever say no risk, but you're taking very little risk, okay? So, you, so your portfolio starts to build up. You get to a point, I had about 13 deals on my, on my, I remember on my whiteboard, and I remember saying to my wife, wow, I'm at about a million three or whatever it was, call it a million five, in cash outs. Well, that's pretty cool. So you can put that on Excel spreadsheet and say over the next two, three, four, five years, sweet spot is two or three, you're gonna cash out, you got a million and a half bucks there. All right, well, that's pretty cool. So now whenever you're comfortable, I don't know what comfortable is for you on a monthly basis or on a portfolio basis looking at these cash outs, but whenever you're saying, hmm, I can get a little creative now. Here are the progressions that you'll take in your portfolio, aside from the fact that forever, as you get leads in, guys, it's not like you have to do a lease purchase or, or an AO or do something short-term and spin out of it. That, not at all. Now, there's nothing wrong with three paydays being equal to 75 grand average like we do and have that happen over the next two or three, four years and have 50 of those in your portfolio. Nothing wrong with that. But for those of you that want to get a little more creative, like we've done over the years, slowly but surely, and I'll help you with this. You can schedule a free strategy call by going to, uh, if you're seeing this and you're not a, presently in our community, smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash action. Now, what to think about is this. When you come across your regular lead flow, the way we teach you to lead flow, you're going to come across sub twos. Could you, in theory, either do a, a long-term rent-to-own and then convert that rent-to-own to a long-term owner financing to make it a 20 or 30 year deal? Yes. What we do is we give the homeowner, the eventual homeowner, the rent to own person, we give them incentive. We say, if you're not late in, you can decide, but we say 12 months. And if you get your deposit up from the present 7.5%, hypothetically, to 20%, if those two things happen or when they do, we'll owner finance you. Now it's a more detailed strategy for you as a student because you're gonna sell that to them on a wrap you bought on a sub two. But suffice to say, I will help you. Just know that you don't have to get out of these things early if you don't want to. And the buyers will love you because they don't have to go to a bank, which is a nightmare to have the bank up your butt with a microscope and to go through all the credit things you got to go through. So that's one way to extend the deals. Second way, you're going to run into just regular deals where you might say, instead of doing a rent own, you may want to rent. We have about, not many, maybe six or eight rentals out of our 50 or 60 portfolio. On purpose, one might be a two family, one might be an owner financing on the water, we're trying to buy some time because it's a longer term deal and then we're gonna put a rent to own in. You know, there's all kinds of ways to do it and we'll show you how. The point is, it's never about just getting out of all these deals, never, unless you want it to be, okay? Um, third, I think I'm on three. There are plenty of multifamily deals you can do and I don't love the big multifamilies where I have to go out and raise money, not at all. But what I do like is I like the four to the 10. Four to 10 is manageable in my mind, even though I'm gonna have a management company, it's just not overwhelming and I don't have to raise money. So I'm gonna go out and find those, we've done several, where they're free and clear. I'm gonna structure owner financing deals. Can you put those in your portfolio? Sure. Can you find landlord, landlords that are pissed off and wanna get out and do a sub two on a, on a multifamily and keep that long term? Sure. See, there's all different ways to pivot here with your portfolio. So I could go on and on with the scenarios. What I want to be clear on is, not all deals do you have to spin out of. And if this didn't help at least open your mind, then go ahead and get a strategy call with us again to repeat it, smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash action. Ask you a few questions just so I know what you got coming to the call. Hey, I've never done a deal in my life. I'm interested in what you said, but I'm confused. Or I've done deals, I've been doing terms deals and I want to know how to keep more. doesn't matter. Whatever the reason is, we'll do a strategy call. Also, if you're a QLS holder, you own uh, the rights to the, either the Academy or the just the QLS course, then you can come hang out with us every Thursday at four o'clock on Zoom. The fourth Thursday is just for QLS and that's a deeper dive into deal structure. The other three Thursdays are, are some training of some sort, either us or a guest, okay? That's the support we give. 
So this stuff here I'm talking about the portfolio is a little bit more advanced. I hope it helps you understand that this is the niche to be in. All right. So on this note, guys, um, I hope that helped. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these Deal Structure Sunday videos if you're seeing it on Deal Structure or Q&A Thursdays if that's where you're seeing it. It applies to both. And if you're looking at this in the private Linda Resource Center for Associates, if you've got more questions, go ahead and hit us. We want to keep building this up for you. Make it a great week and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.